guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hey i'm mariah but yeah anyways back on to what we're here for um i'm talking about this hair that i currently have in my head the dyeing the bleaching process and like how i feel about this hair personally will be all in this video along with how i curl my hair and to be honest my curls have kind of gotten flat since i did them because it's kind of super hot today but yeah ignore that go ahead and watch the video and comment below letting me know what you guys think all right so to start off the video after i get my gloves on I'm going to be using a 40 volume developer, BW2 powder, um, a mixing bowl, and a brush to apply it with. Throughout this video, you're going to see a transition from me using the brush to using my hands because I realized it was so much easier to just go ahead and use my hands, so I could not pass that up. For this portion, you just want to go ahead and make sure that the consistency of the product is liquid as opposed to like a really pasty substance because you just want it to apply through the hair as smooth and seamless as possible. As I applied the product, I started to notice, like I felt, it felt hot, you know, and I never felt that before. And then after a while, I started seeing it process, and it's never processed this quickly, so it kind of made me panic. So I just went ahead and finished this bottom part, and then I started at the top, and I did the roots first, because I would prefer for the roots to be lighter than the bottom of the hair. Normally I would let the hair process for about 45 minutes. I only did about 40 minutes on this hair only because I was just, I was so nervous looking at it. I just couldn't let it stay on there any longer. So at this point, I'm super nervous. I'm looking at the hair. I'm just seeing it just don't look right. So I'm going to just let it sit in some conditioner in a bag for probably like maybe like two to three hours to let it absorb some more moisture. I definitely would not recommend shampooing this hair because all it's going to do is just strip more of the nutrients from it. So letting it sit in some conditioner for about two and a half hours and then letting it air dry definitely revived this hair. It's bouncy, it's full, it's looking right. I let some water boil on the stove and I'm just using a whole pot of that hot water and then I'm going in after that and I'm using 
a cold pot of water. All right, on to the coloring process. So I use a Dory hair dye. I use ruby red, crimson, magenta, and intense red. So as I go, I just keep adding more hair dye and dunking the hair in there and seeing if I'm happy with the results. And I just keep adding more and more hair dye and dunking the hair in there and just testing it to see what I wanted my final look to be. Also, don't forget your hair will actually be lighter than what it appears to be because the water will make it look darker. So with the hair still being so fragile, I am just rinsing it out with cold water and then using a conditioner. I'm still not shampooing this hair. The long journey is finally over. I went ahead and let the hair air dry and now I am wand curling my hair using a one inch wand curler. Alright, so after I wind curl my hair, I'm just going to use a wide tooth comb and I'm just going to comb through the curls just to like comb out some. I just don't want them as tight as they are right now, but make sure you don't comb too hard and actually comb the actual curl out.
just put some lashes on because I don't know why I didn't have no lashes on, but whatever. Put them on now, and yes, I use my fingers. People be talking about me. forget to do the review on this hair it's at the end of the video i'm just you know going with the flow right now getting myself together for the end of the video and the beginning technically but whatever <laughs> lipstick colors later i am here and i finally decided like i'm going somewhere even though i'll be in the house the rest of the day that's besides the point we're here to talk about this hair as far as this hair quality i would give it a 7 out of 10. why because honestly it took the dye and it bleached pretty well it could have done better i'm not gonna lie but it's not like it wasn't crazy bad like this is definitely manageable if you are new to bleaching and dyeing i will be super careful when doing this um take your time don't rush you'll be fine um, as far as shedding with this hair, this is this is all the shedding that I had when I actually combed the hair out. And I know y'all see my nails. I know. Ignore them. I'm actually listening and not going outside. So I'm all I got is hair and makeup because that's all I know how to do. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for my review on this hair. It's definitely still bouncy. Um, it does have a little bit of frizz to it but it's not nothing that you can't handle with a little bit of oil and that's pretty much it on this hair so you guys thank you for tuning in like comment and subscribe and i hope to see you next video